Good evening everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. Look at this little guy. Ah, I was just looking at something before and you can just take screenshots and see. Who is making all that noise outside my fucking submarine, huh? Did you just... Are you alive? The creature don't look like it's moving. Sir? I feel like it might have just swam straight into the cyclops and got stunned. Uh, okay, first thing I want to do is make... I have one... Beacon, but I want to make a bunch. Copper, ore, and titanium. Okay. Of which I think I have both. Uh, I'm gonna just move a lot of this stuff into the sea base. Um, I don't think I need it on me right now. I just want to make a bit of space for some other stuff. Um, oh, of course that's where the titanium is. Let me drop the sea glide. Uh, let me just put all my gear in here. Oh, I still have more gear on me. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I think I was leaving the salt here in case I wanted to make water. Hold on. Let's just leave that there just as backup. Uh, I'm just gonna pretty much empty out some of this stuff because I have a lot. That's weird. The door of it. Ugh, I can't even take off it. Okay, I'm gonna take this much. No, nope, where's my base? I forget which direction it is for me. Here. Um, I moved the submarine a bit further away so that it's in a deeper area so that I'm not banging it off the ground all the time. I also built something exciting over here I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It's not gonna be in bright for a bit. Welcome to board, Captain. Okay, let's drop this stuff. Oh, do I not have space here? Was this a mistake? do I need to make a beacon? Copper and... okay, everything is full. Well, I'm glad I brought this with me. Quartz. Shit. I don't have any quartz. I'm pretty sure I made it all into... oh! Is it just one? I can place that and then I'll have a space for it. Never mind, hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh where did that go? It wouldn't let me place it in the Cyclops for some reason. Where was that quartz? Why does it have to be in such a specific place? Okay, and then it's lithium or it's silicone. Uh, no, I need the copper. Copper and titanium. Uh, I'm gonna make four. Do I have more copper? Okay, <laughs> I'll make five. Just to have. 
because uh, being able to mark where things are is very useful and, and helpful. So I figured out a way, to, a place to go. Get magnetite that is not too deep and not too far away um, and is dangerous but not the most dangerous creatures. Okay so I have five beacons now that's good. Uh, okay let me show you what I built on last night. I built the observatory. Look at this. I also built a swivel chair so I can do this. When it's dark, you can actually like lie back and look up at the stairs. It's really cool. It's very, very nice. So you can see under and over. I really just wanted to build an observatory. <laughs> and it decreased my structural integrity by three, but I still have like over a hundred, so I think I'm probably fine. Uh, let's see how my fire reactor is doing here. Okay, I do it given it ten things. I'm just going to top up the bioreactor. Out. While I'm not here, then just keep the water filtration system going, uh, which is important. Then I can just pick up the water when I come back. Speaking of, apparently, if you just collect the water, it just does the water much faster. Like if it stays at 100% salt, it's just done. But I don't know, so I'm gonna leave that salt there and see what happens. I'm gonna drink this. Okay, so I made beacons. Uh, and to go where we're going, I'm just going to be taking the sea moth. Here, I keep forgetting which direction. I'm just, I left the cyclops. It's not even that far away. It's like 150 meters or so. back in and just take get my equipment back. So I've got two plasteel ingots there, I think. I still wanna just empty these if there's anything left. Uh I don't think I'm gonna find that much magnetite, but you know I wanna have enough space for it. Okay. So give me the scanner. Torch. I don't think I'm gonna need the Pathfinder. I'm gonna keep two. Will I keep two beacons? I might put a beacon into the storage on the Sea Moth just to have. So that it's something that I just have on me. Uh, take some med kits because I know I'm going to an area with potentially things that will eat me. <laughs> Okay, and that one's fully empty. Oh, whoops. Uh, I need to eat some food before I go. Very good, maybe... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Just put that back up. I should take one of these prawn ones and put it in the base, actually. I'm just trying to grab another piece of food. Okay, so we're going... I'm just going to take the sea moth because I'm going to be going out in it anyway. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I immediately turn the opposite direction to the direction that I need to go. Where is my base? 
I've gone back and over between the base. Like, I can see it from here, and I'm still having difficulties. Oh, I didn't actually look at what the observatory looks like from the outside, but that's pretty cool looking. And uh, like I said, everything that can be, uh, anything that was upgradable, or anything, all of the, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, all of the hull reinforcement that I can do has been done. So, I still have two gel sacks, even though I, uh, I'm able to, nice. Do I need that right now? No. What the hell was I saying before that? Do I have batteries? I'm gonna take a battery just in case. Hey, toxic dog, how are you? Um, okay, some of this I'm gonna put into the Seamoth storage so I don't have to carry it all. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need the laser cutter. But I'm taking it with me anyway. <laughs> oh, the habitat builder can stay here. I hate bringing everything valuable with me in case I get killed. God, do I have space for this? I'm good, thank you. Just getting my shit sorted out before I go... <laughs> inevitably go to a scary place. You know how it is. Uh, how close is it to getting dark? Can't tell. I think it's pretty close to getting dark, so I might actually wait, sleep, and then uh, go out when it's properly bright. Okay, two, three. I'm gonna put the beacon on one of my hotkeys as well because I think that'll be helpful. Is it nighttime yet? I know when that planet starts to get kind of over here, it starts to get dark, so. And I, I'm taking the sea moth, so I, and I, can't, I don't have a bed on that. It's a little too small for a bed, you know? Why am I standing when I can sit in my swivel chair? I was trying to decide what to put in here last night. Because uh, I was like, I don't want to leave it empty. And then I seen that I can make a swivel chair and I thought that <clears throat> this is perfect. I can look down. I can look up. The chair is not moving with me though. How do I move the chair? Can I move the chair? I don't know if I can. So many little fishies. Yeah, I don't know what else to put in here. Yet. It's kind of cool just having a chair to sit and look at stuff. There's my little sea moth. I don't also don't have anything else up in this room. Besides, you know, power. <laughs> because this has to go in the middle 
I mean, I can always put stuff around the sides, but I don't really know what to put up here. There's so many extra things. I wonder where do I get the, uh... The... Recipe for... The actual, like, rocket. Yeah, there's all the like there's all this stuff that can be made. Wall planter. How big is that? It's probably like this big. You know, just because I'm waiting for it to get dark now, it's taking ages. And if I went, if I got in the sea moth and was like already like going where I wanted to go. It'd just be dark within like five seconds. No, but my little base is looking pretty good. I don't even know if I need the uh... What are these called? Oh my god. My brain. Solar panel. <laughs> good lord. I don't even need know if I need those anymore necessarily. Because I got the bioreactor. But, uh... Because I think they give like 75 power each per solar panel and it's- I mean it's staying up pretty high the entire time. I think the only thing that's really using power is the uh, water filter. I think that would be like the main draw. No radio messages in a while. This is full. Oh, it's starting to get dark now, I think. Oh my god, I've filled this up already. I just built that. <laughs> I just made that. And it's already full. Yeah, it's getting dark now. Let's... God fucking damn it, every time. There we go. Okay, to bed. New day. Is it actually getting... sometimes it's hard to tell if it's actually getting dark. Yes, the sun is setting. Where's my bed again? <laughs> I'll go to sleep dreaming of that prawn suit over there on the wall. I should have hung it on the ceiling. <laughs> Great. Have enough water. Okay, let's go. So I have Welcome a general aboard, idea of where I'm going. Generally, this direction. We're going this way past the blood kelp. No, it's not called blood kelp. I have that stuck in my head now. Past the kelp forest into the grassy plateau, which is like the red grass area. I believe I'm probably calling all of these the wrong names. But into that area, and then just at the edge of that area where it starts to turn into a different biome. So this is the the area. Um, so over past this, there's caves, basically. And down in those caves, I, been in that? I must have been in that big wreck. Surely. I know I've been in here. Um, down inside the caves is where we will find magnetite. There's so many of these that honestly I just... Who is snarling at me? 
Is it one of those small guys? Yeah, of course it is. He sounds like a lion. I had to have been in here, right? But I honestly have no idea. Okay, I haven't been in here because this is open. What? How have I not... That just shows you how easy it is to miss things. Well, what am I going to find in here? Battery charger, I already have that. Is that it? There's no other path off of this? Light. Wait, what is this? Oh, prawn suit. I already have that. Guess I could have found that here. What is that? Modification station. I already have that. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? Why didn't PDA lady talk to me? Is that supposed to mean something? Modification station has my oxygen. Good. Why is it trying to tell me I can scan just the modification station? Okay. Why? Laser cutter, okay. Battery charger. I have a lot of this stuff already, so I don't need to scan it. That's just a battery charger, I think. Wow, I can't believe that this was so close to me and I had to get in here. What? I can't take that one? <laughs> yeah, I need to figure out how do I get in here? Here. Okay, time to leave. Uh, this way? Oh god, oh. Which way was it? Well, not that way. Am I gonna fucking die down here? Don't go under the stairs! God, how did I get in here? Shit. Yeah, no shit, lady. There. <laughs> oh my god. I guess, how are they going to read that, right? But what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's like somebody just mashed the keyboard. How have I not been to this one? I don't understand. Like, I was never inside there. Don't know how I missed this big ass piece of the aurora. But I did. Okay, uh, quest. Is this a cave? Okay, I think. Let me just have a look down here. I believe this is the area we need to go, but I'm gonna try and find a bigger entrance. Because <laughs> I want the sea moth to be able to go down. Oh my god, can these fish stop? Like, they're just- I'm starting to take it personally. Like, they're just crashing into me intentionally. Can you knock it off, sir? <laughs> so loud. 
Look at his shadow. <laughs> I'm trying to... Okay, that's the one that I just found. So let's go, like, just back it over from there. That is where I want to go, but I feel like that is just a bit tight for the Seamoth to be squishing down into. Uh, and from what I understand, there's more than one entrance in this general area. It's gonna be dark again by the time I fucking... Like, I don't mind going into that smaller cave, but my only concern is if I need to get back out in a hurry. <laughs> uh, it's probably not going to go very well if I need to get out because I'm being chased by something, you know? You always gotta be- <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just got jump scared by that little shit. You can't eat me in here, okay? No matter how bad you want to. I just turned around and came face to face with that and I was like, Ugh! <laughs> Oh wait, I don't think this is a cave entrance though. Is it? Can I fit in here? Oh no, I'm stuck. Shit. Uh, I'm out. Okay. That pink plant is really pretty. Oh my god, all these tiny fish are just getting absolutely destroyed. That's a smaller one. The smaller ones move much faster than the big old ones. Oh my god, dude, can you chill? I think that's the same cave that I was just looking at. How come I can only find that tiny little entrance? Where did I even find it? I should have marked it because now I've lost it. God's sake. I swear I'm not trying to kill the fish, they just keep ending up on my windscreen. Oh my god. Where are you? Can you get lost? Business to attend to. <laughs> yeah, because then it starts to go into a different biome over there. Can I fit down here though? I don't think I can. Can I? Oh no, this isn't right. No, this isn't right. I need to. At least I'm looking for goes much deeper than this. Oh god. <laughs> Crash bang wallop. Okay, let's just look over here a little bit. Good lord, you make such a racket for tiny little fish. You swear I was hitting something gargantuan with the noise that they're making when they're banging into the sea moth. Oh my god. Oh, is this what I want? No, that's not what I want. That's blood kelp. In fact, am I near my beacon? I am. <laughs> 
find stuff they make it sound so easy and then I'm like okay I can do that no I can't <laughs> mm. I think that I can oh hold on a second Yes, this is what I want. This is the place. Okay, let's just not get stuck. Not get stuck, okay. Actually, I'm gonna put you over here. And then called like jelly shroom cave or something like that. Oh god, stop trying to eat me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Did that name that? Cool. Okay, this is a small entrance. There were other entrances, I think, but I might have to go back actually and get food. Let's just go in and have a look. Are my lights on? Yes, okay. So there are sh there is shit in here that can kill me. Namely that thing. But I think if I can kind of stay away from them I should be okay. So basically the magnetite is on the- actually I think I see one right there. Is that a magnetite? Is that our first? I just want to make sure that nothing sees me right now. I think that that's magnetite. <gasps> yes! Basically it's just all over the ground in here. Especially underneath of those pink mushroom looking things. Oh, what am I stuck on? What was I stuck on? Weird. There's another one. I just want to scan it just because I can. This is going to be very, very <laughs> safely done. As safe as possible. Because, uh,. That's not the only thing down here that can kill me, there's something else as well. That much I know. There's like a base or something over there. I'm gonna try and be real just... quiet and... <laughs> quiet she says as she fucking hit the sea moth off or something. How many do I need to make? The main thing that I need this for is the Seamoth Depth Module. If I could find it. Here. Oh, I only need two for it. I'm gonna pick up more though because I'm pretty sure there was something else that I needed it for as well. And also, well, I mean, now that I've got it marked, I'll be able to come back, which is really nice. I really should have been taking more advantage of the beacons earlier on. Like, if I find something from now on, I'm sticking a beacon on it. <laughs> like, there's no question. Oh my god, don't make noise. I don't know if they react to noise or light or just 
proximity. There's a lot of them down here, though. Seems like they. Li oh my god, oh my god. I am not. How am I stuck on that? Give me a break. What? Jesus Christ. Like, you're stuck on this really, like, seemingly non consequential thing. I'm just keeping an eye on them to see if they notice me. Thought that one was coming my way for a second. But it didn't. How many do I have now? Five. Ah, yet again I made tea and forgot it existed. I just get so distracted by Subnautica. <laughs> okay. Uh, those things are fast too. Are cool. See, there was one that got real close to this area a minute ago. Is that a magnetite? I think it is. <laughs> Not gonna leave my back facing them. know how big this cave is. It's kinda weird that the only thing that I see in here are those guys. Like some kind of worm snake. Oh, there's another one there, so I might get that one and then leave it at that for now. Because that's enough for me for the, for the moment. And then we can go back and equip the sea moth for better exploration. Okay, so not only does that beacon show me where it is from the outside, it also shows me where the cave entrance is to get out. Okay. Oh god. Did it move? No. Okay, <laughs> just fucking went straight into it. Okay, so now with this I can make I think I can full can fully upgrade. Um the Seamoth's depth modules because I only needed magnetite for this, the Mark II one. For the Mark III I had everything I needed but obviously can't skip straight to that one so that's what was holding us back. But no more! <laughs> the repair tool. I think I put it into the storage. Oh fuck, I always <laughs> press the wrong button. Uh, 
There we go. I'm gonna have to park it in the boon pool, but... Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, what do I need? It's not this, it's the modification station. So... A plastialing enamel glass. Okay. I know I have plastic lingots on the side. What do I need for the module 3 then? Okay, so I have enough plastic lingots. Three rubies, which I can take from here. Um, do I have enamel glass anywhere? I might need to get some quartz. I don't think I have any quartz to make. Well, I don't have any quartz to make enamel glass. I don't think I have any enamel glass on here, but. Yeah, let me check. Welcome I have the plastic lingots, so that's good. Let's have a quick look. Nope. Nope. That's just the water bin. Okay, so no. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, so I need quartz. How many quartz make? I think it's two quartz and one stalker tooth. Uh, two quarts to make glass, so I need four quarts. Okay. That's doable. That's, that's a pretty easy resource to find. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's find us some quarts. See if he's right there. Uh, two. Three. One more? If I could find it all in one place, that would be very, very hot. Ah, look at that. Wonderful. It's like it knew I was looking for it. I have stalker teeth in the sea base. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't crash into it. The door's just open. Okay. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Well, the board, Captain. Okay, let me just sit there. Stalker teeth. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just said tubes. I do need them though. Oh, God's sake. Every time. Uh, is it this one? Oh, I only have one? Shit. Do I not have more than one? I thought I had a load of those. Did I have stalker teeth on? The Cyclops? Honestly, don't remember. I know there's a place nearby I can find those, so I'm just gonna go. Let's just take the prawn soup since it's already out. Uh, there's a place not too far from here where they like to gather their. Metal salvage. And there's always lots of teeth in that area. It's 
should be faster in the Seamoth, but I don't want to undock it again. Ow. My knees. Where is your pile of treasure? It's around here somewhere. I don't even see any stalkers right now. Which is... Very weird. There you are. What you doing? Dropping any teeth? God damn it, I know that there is There's a couple of places pretty near the base where they like tend to gather scrap and then there's teeth. Just laying around on the ground. Oh, we're going down. I've only, I've only seen one stalker, which is very weird. Since they're always loitering around outside my base. Hear them. Okay, I see salvage here. Is there any teeth near it? No. I can hear them growling, but. I don't actually know where they are. God, this is so slow. I'm sure when you get upgrades and stuff for this it makes it much better, but Jesus Christ. There's like this one spot around that they're always in. And they're always like dropping the storage and picking it up. Dropping the salvage even and picking it up. And because of that... Uh, found it. Some teeth here. Oh, what's that? It's a fish. There's just a big ass fight happening here. Normally they're just all over the ground, but. Can't see any. Just fighting each other over the salvage. Wanna drop some teeth? Aha! Yes, I want them. Well, I want the tooth. Uh, pick it up, for God's sake! I'm just playing with it. Really? There's three dead stuff. 
Oh my god, he just poisoned all holy shit. Everything here is dead because the thing just poisoned everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you need to chill. I'm just gonna gather up the teeth. While I can. I don't know why it's telling me I can scan. Okay, I only needed one, but I got a few extra. Okay, let's go. They're just poisoning everything in this fucking area. Do not swim into me. Do not. I don't care about personal space. Actually, I need to take the. Oh, Lord. Aboard, Captain. I need to take out this upgrade body. Because I need it to make uh, a new one. Okay, let's make another enamel glass. And we should be good. Okay, Mark 2. I would imagine that most people can do Mark 2 and then Mark 3 immediately, considering the ingredients you need are just very, like, straightforward. Especially for the Mark 3. Okay, let's go put this in. I don't. I, I think it makes. It gives us 900 uh, meters. But I guess we're about to find out. Okay, in you go. That's the storage, not the. <laughs> 900 meters. Nice. Do I need to repair you at all? No, I think you're good. Okay. Great. That's going to be really helpful. <laughs> uh, because trying to navigate the deeper, some of the deeper parts in just a Cyclops is very difficult to navigate it. I find it's just that my spatial awareness in that is just awful. Uh, now, let me try and remember. Uh, let's see what else did I want. How many magnetite have I got? I've got three. Um, let's look at Cyclops. Yeah, I need nickel for that, which I know is deeper even still. Um, can you get sonar for the sea moth? That'd be helpful. Cause right now I have four in already, but I can I can get rid of the storage one because that's like not that important. I have defense system, depth module, hull reinforcement. I don't know if the sonar is worth getting. Chron suit jet upgrade, okay we need other stuff that I haven't even tried to look for for that. Um, let's see, cyclops, depth module, I can make that. That might be worth it, because right now I think the Cyclops can only go 500 deep. Uh, and...
which means it can it can go deeper than the or it can't go as deep as the sea moth right now. I already have this sonar. Um, Plasteel ingot. What's that? Like a titanium ingot and something. Lithium. Uh, I had a bunch of titanium. I don't know if I still do or not. I have two on me. But I think that might be. Oh, no. Oh, never mind, I found it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that right? No, that's 8. No, that's 10. What was it? I've already forgotten. Oh my god. Lithium. Okay. Which I already have on me. This. I think I craft the Cyclops upgrades on the actual Cyclops. Uh, three rubies. So let's get some rubies. Okay, we'll just take the. Whoops. We'll take the Seamoth over. Look at that depth of 900 meters that we have. Systems online. I also recharged all the power cells and replaced them. So right now, oh this is 900, so what's it going to upgrade it to, I wonder? I mean, I don't know if I necessarily want to go deeper right now, but at some point I'm going to have to, I imagine. Oh my god, I already have that as well. Oh my god, why do I keep rebuilding the same stuff that I already have and just wasting materials? I made a new rule for myself yesterday that I wasn't going to build anything without checking if I had it already, and I've already just broken my own rule. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take a bathroom break. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I can't believe I just did that again. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. At least I didn't waste the magnetite on it. <laughs> I would be much more annoyed if I had wasted that. Should I upgrade the sonar? I'm not really sure, but my plan is uh, now that we've got this all systems online um i just remembered that when we were on the i don't know which island it's called but the one that's north of us there was a weird alien stargate thing that I activated and I didn't go through. And I'm gonna go and see what that's all about, basically. I'll put this in the trash since I wasted it. So we're gonna leave everything here. Um, I'm might actually catch some fish. It, just because I can bring them with me and they won't go bad if I salt them. Uh, whereas the seeds just go... not go bad, they just take up a lot of space. Because I have a good bit of salt now. If I make four. Coupled with what I- because I don't know what's gonna happen when I go through it. Um, so I want to be prepared. Where are all the peepers at? I see every other kind of fish. Oh! One. Two. Three. Four. Um, and these are gonna just gonna be like in inventory. I'm not gonna use these now, like they're not for now, they're for <laughs> emergency situations. <laughs> okay. Back up food that will stay good. <laughs> um, so I think... Did I bring the sea moth over? I did, okay. Let's park this Welcome aboard, Captain. In the moon pool, in case the stalkers decide to start having a fucking field day with it. Okay, you're safe. So. You think the yellow would stand out more? I should probably make it, like, red or something. actually swap out the power here. Cool. So I think it's starting to get dark. It's kind of hard to tell. 
I like to close all the bulkheads in case I get attacked. And uh, did I just what just happened? Uh, what is happening? Who or what is doing that? <laughs> it's one of those weird seal looking things again. Like, I'm moving. Look how, how fast I'm moving. Like, there's nothing on the sonar, so what is it? Let's check the cameras. Hello? I don't see anything. I literally don't see anything. I don't know what all the banging is about, frankly. <laughs> Engine powering up.
engine powering down. I just realized I was muted that entire time, my bad. At least I think I was. Okay. Let's... Take all of this. I have a throat lozenge in my mouth right now, so apologies if that's annoying. <laughs> okay. Repair tool, laser cutter. Should I bring the habitat builder? Where is the habitat builder? Oh no! I left it! I left it in the fucking sea base. What do I need to make a habitat builder? Oh, balls. Whoa. Um. What is all that about? Sometimes there's just a lot of banging going on and I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's bring this green stuff and these purple things. Batteries. Fuck, do I only have two batteries? Well, I didn't prepare for it. Oh no, I have more. Okay. I'm about as ready as I'm ever going to be. I can't believe I left the habitat builder back. That's base. Hope I don't need it for anything. Right, so... Also, we need to somehow get rid of the infection that we have to turn off to be able to turn off the laser in here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, which cave this was in, but I know it's up at the top somewhere, so I'm just going to keep going until I find it, basically. Can I go this way? I think these basically all go the same way. Okay. Uh, was it back this way? I'm not sure. Are you following me? Little creepy dude. Um, that's a dead end, okay. <clears throat> okay. I have no idea what's gonna happen if I go through here. <laughs> this might not be a good idea, but we're going. Let's just take a nice screenshot of this before we go, shall we? Should I? I'm gonna save. Just in case. Oh, 
in the Matrix. Okay, so I can still see all my... Did it just get nighttime? Um... Where am I? There's a lot of these things around, but I can't interact with them. Okay. The only way I can go is up this path over here. So let's see. No idea where I am. I'm on like the opposite side of the world from where I just was, I think. Wait, are we just on the other island? The one with the Degassi sea bases? How did I not find this cave? Oh, so it... Why would they need a teleportation system? I do want to go down there and explore those caves, but I don't think that there's a way to get back up from down there without going under the island and back up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where in the hell is the cave I just came out of, though? Okay, it's here. Can beacons go on land? <laughs> I mean, I can drop it, but it doesn't do anything. It only works in water. Oh no, it works on land too. Uh, cave to <laughs> Stargate. Weird, I don't know what the purpose of this is. can't scan it or anything. I haven't saw it scanned myself in a while. Let's see what that says. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strength. How do- what do we do about that, I wonder? Um, so I went back through the portal. I didn't mean to, but... I'm standing on top of it, so just... I'm going to turn that off for now because I don't need to know where it is. It's kind of weird, like we don't. We're not able to like do anything else here. 
Uh, which... Okay, this way. Well, that was much quicker than I thought. I wonder is there more of those that I just haven't found yet? Get away from me. Oh, the horn looks cool like that. Is this the right way? Oh my god. Oh shit! Ooh. Well, that was not fucking intentional. <laughs> shit. I'm pretty sure this comes back out onto the beach, so... What the hell is making that noise? Hello, submarine. Hmm. They never did tell us anything about the... Okay, put that away, please. It just was like infected. Can't disable uh weapon. And that's all the information we got. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Well, I was very prepared. I didn't need any of the stuff I was I had, but better to be safer. Oh, balls. Every time. Hmm. the data required to identify bacterial strain. So it's getting worse. Apparently, even though it doesn't seem to be affecting me. I still don't understand what this is all about. <laughs> it's just gibberish. Uh, we haven't gotten any radio messages or anything in a while. Nothing new there. I don't really know what to do now. Story-wise, we haven't gotten any kind of direction to go in in a while. The only thing I can think of is the...
Oh, whoops. Uh, is it this? Water contaminate with high levels of foreign bacteria. Right. Um. Oh, hey Mars, how are you? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to me trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing next. <laughs> Degasi. Didn't they say they made a sea base somewhere? I don't think I've come across that. <laughs> There's those lovely cheerleaders again. Hi Rabik, how are you? I'm just parked out in the middle of the ocean trying to figure out what 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 to do. <laughs> hey Valkyrie. How is everybody doing? <laughs> yeah, the usual subnautica experience for sure. Oh, there was that. Uh, I've been standing here for so long that it started to get bright again. <laughs> Engine powering up. Okay. Okay, I know that that's Final Fantasy. I had no idea which one it is. Roman numerals just don't compute in my brain. But I hope you're enjoying it. What were you playing, Mars? Whoa, nine hour stream? Yakuza? Nice. Your favorite character appeared? It's always fun when that happens. That's always the best part of a game. Ah, it's 14, okay. I feel like people who play Final Fantasy games, just that they, they know Roman numerals. It's like a superpower that comes with being a Final Fantasy fan. <laughs> she went cuckoo crazy. <laughs> I mean, if you can't go cuckoo crazy when you like see one of your favorite characters, when are you, when can you? You know. Yeah, it could have something to do with the favorite character. Could have something to do with delirium setting in after streaming for nine hours. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I know Roman numerals, numerals up to like five and then I'm like, I get lost after that. I just heard a growl that I don't recognize. That shouldn't be happening over here in the safe shallows. Oh my god. There's a fucking party happening here. What are you guys doing? Hmm? This is a bad place to park my cyclops. Just earlier in my stream I was uh, salvaging for titanium. No, I was salvaging for stalker tooths. Tooths? I keep saying tooths instead of teeth. I was salvaging for stalker teeth and one of those, I don't know even what they're called, those 
seal looking creatures. Uh, there was like three of them in one area and they let out a bunch of poison and killed like five stalkers and like ten fish at once. It was insane. <laughs> he's your fiance and he bought you the pillows. Yeah, he's just an, an enabler, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they swim so fast. Except when there's like, you know, a submarine coming towards them, then they just dawdle and they're like, ah, this is fine, I'm fine here. Why does it seem so dark in here? What's happening? Hey! Some of their poison got inside, that's just gross. <laughs> ah, water. I'm running out of space for so much I have so much storage and I just it's just not enough. Why is it so dark in here? I have enough power. Oh, something attacked my base. Great. What happened? Why is it full of water in here? Why is there only water upstairs? <laughs> what happened while I was gone? Good lord. Somebody threw a fucking party in my base while I wasn't here. What's happening? Who? What happened? Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. I would love to fucking know what happened. What on earth? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that only big things can- I thought only like big creatures can do that kind of damage, so... What came out of the deep, dark, dangerous area to fucking fuck up my base? I have questions. <laughs> oh, the base is like fully, like... Stru it's fully um, the structural integrity is like over a hundred. That's why I'm confused about the flooding. Who fucked up my shit? If anything, you'd think they would attack the big glass dome that I built out here. You know, <laughs> there's nothing that big around here. I'm confused. Also, isn't it not hilarious that it was oh, there was it was flooded upstairs but not down? These fish really need to chill. I mean, every panel that can be reinforced is reinforced, so I don't know. What am I doing now? Oh yeah, I was trying to see... <laughs> Thanks for uh, dropping in. And have a good night. Uh, okay, Degassi Sea Base. Where? Why did I close that? That's what I was trying to look at. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Pretty sure they said that they built because they were on the island and then they moved to underwater. I don't know where. I never got coordinates for that, so I don't know where that is. Actually, hold on. Why is... 
For some reason this one's not reinforced, but I thought I did. Maybe I had to remove it because of the power cell charger. Maybe. Why couldn't it have burst and flood while I was here to fix it? I don't think anything broke, but... Of course it would never happen when I'm actually here. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't really know what to do now. I'm kind of at a point where I haven't gotten any other radio messages or anything. I might try going back into the jelly shroom cave because there was like a base or something there. I am still alive. <laughs> Although when I got back to my base there had been a hull breach. Don't know how it happened. But only the upstairs was full of water. Nowhere else. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Welcome aboard, Captain. All Just Subnautica online. things. Why do I have the fucking habitat builder on me again? I keep picking it up and I don't need it. Okay, put that back. Ow! <laughs> well. I just launched right onto a fucking little area. Okay, did I? I might have deactivated the beacon. No, I didn't. There it is. Um, I went into this cave for the first time uh, at the start of the stream and, you know, very timidly looking at the things that could potentially eat me. But I did see that there was some kind of base in there, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get anything from that, maybe? That's kind of the only thing I can think of to do right now. Now that I've upgraded, it's really pretty down here, though. Look how pretty! Like, I don't even- yeah, I don't even have my lights on. It's like a nightclub down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I came in here earlier to gather magnetite so that I could upgrade the depth that my seamoth could go. There. There's like a little base there. But that's very close to that guy and it freaks me out. I haven't been attacked by any of them. Yet. <laughs> I think it's fair to say yet. Don't really want to be. I wonder if I went down there. Quickly, quickly. They see nothing. Nothing happened. Great. Are those peepers? Why are they all gathered in one? Are they trying to protect? Something's making fucking weird noise down here. Hello? <laughs> right, where's this base? I can't see behind me at this angle, which is concerning. Maybe if I just hide in this little alcove here. You guys just carry on, okay? I'm not gonna bother you. There's a magnetite right here. I'm not gonna bother them, so if they could just leave me alone... That'd be great. Well, there's a PDA here, first of all. Signal location uploaded ah! To I found a thing. Integrating new PDA data. Is that all that's here? Seems like it. I can still hear those big guys down here. I wonder is there any magnetite down here? I'm sure there is. I 
while I'm in here, I may as well do some resource gathering. Oh, what is that noise? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I was just wondering where that Degassi Sea Base was. Uh, it might just be a therm geothermal thing or something that I can hear. Where are those? Those little red fish like to take chunks out of me, so I'm gonna try and stay away from them. Sometimes they just sneak up behind you and just take a chunk out of your ass, you know? Oh, that's a big guy. I need the prawn suit for that, though. Oops. I don't know who I just murdered, but I'm sorry. Unless it was one of the guys that's gonna eat me, I'm not sorry about that. Yeah, something's making something's making a rumbly noise in here, and I don't know how I feel about it. Actually, I know exactly how I feel about it. Bad. <laughs> what are you? It kind of sounds like a geyser, though. How pretty are these? I think it's making the inside of my little thing all pink. Ouch. Oh, it is a geyser. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I thought it might be a big creature growling. But apparently... not. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever played Subnautica, aren't you always worried about it being a big creature growling at you? I know it's not a reaper. <laughs> Because that thing fucking screeches and scares the absolute fucking- it like, scares you all the way into your soul. Stay over there away from me. Don't come over here. That's right. You see him turn around and leave? Bitch. <laughs> What's that a note of, I wonder? Is it gold? What's this all about? Did it just cook that fish, I think? Or are you just swimming around? Whoa, there's lava in it. Still saying it's only 15 degrees over here, though. That seems a little incorrect. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Nothing to see down here, just passing through. <laughs> uh, how did I get down here? Ah. Okay. See, that growl I'm familiar with. I know that, that that growl doesn't mean I'm gonna eat you. Okay, so we have somewhere- I was starting to be like, well, do I just end my stream then if I don't have anything to do? Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm just killing all the fish. They're all dead now. It's unfortunate, but you know. So which direction is that? these things, honestly. Uh, where is that? Do I have food? Oh, I do have food. I don't have to go back. Lots of food. Good. Okay, there we go. Is this in a cave somewhere? I bet this is some some place that I've been past so many times, because it's only 250 deep. Oh, the music is kicking in now. But it's like directly below me, so where... How do I get to you? I need to be real careful of the areas that I'm in as well. I don't want to get... Who's screeching at me? Okay, this is still a safe area. I feel like I'm gonna have to go into a cave. Oh my god, so sorry. Or I'm gonna have to go down over the edge. <laughs> and in. Because, like, how else do I get to that?
I should probably read the uh, thing. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions for a unique microcosm of predatory life forms. Great. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat site. Close proximity to one of cave entrances in case of emergency. Medium distance from predatory organisms. Stable foundations on which to build ready access to materials. Eating strawberries right now to recharge. Uh, where? I fucking can't even see it. Sometimes. No, I just can't see. Oh, there it is. Like, how do you want me to get down there? You're like, it's in a cavern. I'm like, okay. But where? <laughs> it wasn't in the one I was in, because I don't think I could get to it from there. Was it in the one I was in? You know, it's one thing for me to crash into you and kill you. It's an entirely different thing for you to just keep trying to get me. <laughs> I like to just give out to the fish. In general. Unless it's something big enough to eat me, in which case I'm scared. Again? It's the same one. I will run you over. That's right. <laughs> like, I am pretty close to it, but I need to find a cave. Like, I don't think this- oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> okay, before we go in here, uh, I'm gonna put a beacon over here. I don't know what I'm gonna call you yet. Let's just call you Degassy Sea Base. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks for dropping by. Hope to see you again. Have a good rest of your night. What did I just see? Oh, it's just water. Okay. Have I been in here? Is it? Should I be scared? They said medium predators. Oh, it's the same kind of cave. It is eerily fucking quiet down here. Who's gonna eat me? Can you show yourself so at least I know what I'm up against? <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind this see-through pink mushroom. You'll never see me. It's just solid stuff. Okay. I'm gonna assume it's breached and it's not watertight. Oh, hello! You're way too close to the thing that I want to get into. What is it doing? Did it get stuck? Okay, so same predators. Are you just going to be chilling around here? Because that's fucking mildly terrifying. By mildly, I mean all-consuming. Where's the entrance? Is it over there? Okay, hang on. Let's navigate back. I want to park right at the end. Shit. It's fine. <laughs> I have a repair tool. There's a hatch. But it looks like it's been breached, so I don't know how effective a hatch is going to be. Maybe it hasn't been. Okay, so I need to find a hole. Is this shit that I have already? Sure is. Okay, this isn't the entrance, so... <sighs> it's gonna be over there near that fucking thing that's trying to try and eat me, isn't it? <laughs> I just know that it's gonna be over there near that. Like, I just know. 
There doesn't seem to be a hole. Oh wait, no, there's glass on that. Oh. How? Oh, that, that's broken. Okay, I see, I see. Um, I need to go around the other side. Which I'm just getting slowly getting closer and closer to the scary monster. I thought those were peepers, but they're not. They're like weird looking. I'm gonna just stay here for a minute and see if it notices I'm here. <laughs> okay, it didn't care. Oh god, don't touch that. It hurts. Okay. Desk. At least once I'm in here, I know that it can't come in after me, so that's a bonus. I'm gonna do check downstairs first. Ooh. Wait, have I already been? No, there's a PBA over there. Integrating new PDA data. Um, I got stuck on the door. My oxygen is good, so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> Oh god, hey! As long as you don't try to break through the glass to get to me. Hey, fishy. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be anything in here. Um, besides the PDA. I mean, there's a lot of a, a lot of stuff, but I've already gotten a lot of this already. Okay, let's get back in here. What? What did I get? We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull. Water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. Hmm. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Oh shit. Marguerite's had enough. A thousand kilometers down. No, a thousand kilometers. A kilometer down. That's far. <laughs> I have not been that deep. Not yet, anyway. There's lights over there. So there's something else over there. What is growling? I think I just I'm just gonna ask the question that everybody is wondering. <laughs> Who or what be growling? It's just gonna come at me and I'm gonna be fucking terrified. We all know that that's what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. This is like almost right underneath where my base is. I don't see any magnetite in here, which is weird. Never mind. I'm a liar. Oh, my mouse wasn't working there for a second and I couldn't turn around and I got real worried. Um, 
trying to kind of work my way around the edge here because I saw more lights. Which means probably more information. If one of them comes out of here, I'm going to fucking shit myself. There. Right there. Right out in the open, because where fucking else would it be? It's just a box that probably has food or water in it. Really? That's all that's over here? Okay. I don't know what that noise is. Like, I don't know what creature is making that noise. Right, where's the exit is here somewhere. There. I think it's actually daytime and we just couldn't tell because we were so far down. The growling seems to be coming from within that cave though. For the most part. Strange. I wonder am I going to get another radio message now? Or some such. Whoops. Sorry I ran you over, you got in my way. <laughs> Let's just repair the damage that I did. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. So, no radio message. Let's just make sure that upstairs doesn't flood again. Great, okay. Nothing that I need to be concerned with up here. That's good. Uh, I do wonder though. I keep putting the habitat builder down in different places and then don't remember where I found it. <laughs> like, is it on the submarine? Is it on the sea base? Let's play a game called check every locker you own until you find the thing that you're looking for. <laughs> I think it's on the fucking cyclops. Um, I just want to know if I can build the power cell thing on top of a reinforced whole thing because I thought that one was reinforced Welcome but it's not. Captain. Oh, I don't want to kill you. And I'm just being lazy and taking the sea moth over here <laughs> instead of just swimming. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. There it is. Uh, okay. Oh, come on. I wasn't that close to it. Oh, really? How did- where did that even see me from? They're normally down in a cave. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Whoops. What do I need for reinforced hull? Titanium... And lithium. 
I need three titanium. One lithium. Sixty eight. Uh, this. I thought that that was reinforced, but obviously not. <laughs> I can't reinforce this one because the water cooler is there. So what did she s What would... Half a kilometer down, so 500 meters. I thought I thought he said <laughs> a kilometer. So 500 deep. 500 deep. Hello brain, is there anyone in there? <laughs> 500 meters deep. <laughs> Good lord. When it's Friday and your brain is like... We're done. <laughs> um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So if we have six of those now. I'm just curious where else where else there's wrecks and stuff that I haven't found. Uh, well, I can't fit all of that in there. Or in there. Okay, let's just put let's just put like one in each container and then I'll never be able to find anything. It's fine. In future me will curse past me, but it's fine. Um, so, where is that? Be That's the jelly shroom. Yeah, the Degasi Sea Base. Like, that cave was only 300 meters from me. Give or take. So, is it over here somewhere? I don't know why I came outside, just, just to... Just to, you know, drown. Actually, now I know why I came outside. I wanted to top up the... Oh no. Oh, shit. I didn't actually mean to pick those. These are the ones that I... I don't know why I... Like, this is probably gonna come out of here. It's also incredibly hard to hit this in the right way. Uh, top of the bioreactor. Even though it really doesn't need very much. <laughs> Or is it just- I forgot that I put in outside lights, so I keep thinking it's getting bright when actually it's just the lights. <laughs> uh, okay, how many life pods have I found? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six life pods and three Where's that one not hidden? 
Is there? Did it show me more than one? Wait, what? The easiest way to do this is to be up high. <laughs> Why is that one showing as not hidden? So that must be the one that I just went to. Why is there two? Let me just change it to bright yellow just in case I'm not seeing it. Isn't that the one I was just at? Why is it still lit up? I must have missed something. Hmm. That's starting to get bright. Did I miss something? Where's the sea moth? Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, I guess I'm going back in. I thought that it had disappeared. Now I can't see it again. Usually they disappear once you've like been to the location. So that's kind of weird. Yeah, this is where I just was. So why Is it still acting like I haven't been here? That's kind of weird. Did I miss him? Did it disappear now? Used. Doesn't really make any sense. I picked up the PDA. That was the only thing I found in here. This thing was already open. And I don't know where... Well, whatever was in there, I don't know where it is. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that noise, don't like that. For sure, do not like that. Oh god, I hit another one. Can you stop getting stuck on the ground? Jesus. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, has it disappeared now? Why was it acting like I haven't been here? Does this go deeper? I wonder is like the deeper part in- Oh Jesus! Hey! How's it going? I'm not here. Hmm. 
you go back inside your nice pink mushroom friend there, okay? And I'm just gonna... Thank you so much for the raid again, Mars. It's nice to see you again. I'm glad you enjoyed your stream, and uh, have a good rest of your night. Hopefully I'll be able to return the rating favor one of these days. <laughs> It'll line up one of these days. Wait, I can scan this? Oh shit, it's the whole thing. The big guy. Let's read about the magic mushroom. Life form unique to a microcosm located in a cave system deep within the grassy plateaus. For a high concentration of carnivorous life forms ward off smaller predators. Tough trunk. Unknown defense mechanisms. Okay. It says possible symbiotic relationship and I believe they're referring to the weird snake eels or whatever the fuck they are that are living inside of them. I'd say that's pretty symbiotic right there. It's probably about as symbiotic as symbiotic can get. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna try and eat my toes. No! No, don't open the storage. No, don't open that. Get in. <laughs> My toes are gonna get eaten. Jeez. Not necessarily sure if this cave goes deeper than how it is right now. But... I wonder does this connect to the other one? Because we're... Uh, I guess we're a good bit away actually. I was gonna say we're not that far away but... Actually we kind of are. See, the thing is, something was still roaring in here, and I don't know what it was. It's gotten very quiet now all of a sudden. We're not necessarily getting any deeper. Fuck, I think these native caves are all connected. Are my lights on? Whoops. Basically just broadcasting my location. Does this go deeper? Oh, not really. I think this does connect to... hello? This does connect... to the other cave that I was in before. This was the other entrance, or one of the other entrances that I wasn't able to find. Okay, I'm gonna go along the... fuck's sake. Kinda going around the edges and low down. So hopefully the big guys don't see me. I don't know how dangerous they are, but... They keep telling me about predators, so... There's that lovely roaring again. It's 
so glad we could witness that. Well, they got more magnetite. So weird that that's basically right underneath my base, pretty much. It's probably not a coincidence. Magnetite away. Welcome aboard, Captain. Five hundred meters down, something. Five hundred meters down, somewhere. There's something happening, but we don't know what or where. I really don't know why this. Like, where was this one? They weren't in the same place, were they? Yeah. Why is there two for the one area? That's very confusing. Um, not for the deeper one, though. Probably have to find something else to... Um, Point is in the right direction, I guess. Uh, but I think I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. I'm pretty happy that I got magnetite and upgraded my sea moth. Oh my god. <laughs> my brain is just like not connected to the rest of me right now, I don't think. Um, yeah, really happy I found Magnetite and at least upgraded the Seamoth, so navigating deeper areas will I will feel much safer in the Seamoth because I can move quicker. I can maneuver it just faster, it's more, it's smaller, it's easier to move, move around, so um, should have better luck with that as well. Um, but thanks so much for being here, thank you so much again to Maris for the raid, even though she's gone to bed. Thank you to any of her raiders who are still here. I appreciate you uh, giving me your support, and I hope to see you back again soon.